Welcome everybody. We are so glad you can join us today for the college and pre-collegiate scholarship presentation. My name is Norma Lilia Ruiz Cruz and I am the post-secondary education fellow at Impact Tulsa. I am joined today by Dr. Laura Lata, Director of Post-Secondary Partnership and Research at Impact Tulsa. Thank you for taking time today to attend this conference session. Now, before we begin this time together, we want to take a moment to acknowledge that the land on which we learn, teach, live, and grow is the traditional and unceded territory of the Osage, Muscogee, Caddo, Sioux, and Kickapoo peoples past and present. We pay honor and respect to the elders past, present, and future, and to those who have stewarded this land throughout generations. This calls us to commit to continuing to learn how to be better stewards of the land we inhabit as well. Now to start, I'd like to provide some background information about Impact Tulsa. Impact Tulsa is part of the Strive Together Network. Focus, focus is on helping every child from cradle to career succeed in school and in life. Impact Tulsa is a collectively, collective impact organization and nonprofit that partners with 21 Tulsa area school districts, a host of nonprofit organizations and passionate business and civic sector leaders with a vision of high quality education for all students. Impact Tulsa focuses on six education outcomes, including kindergarten readiness, third grade reading, eighth grade math, high school graduation, and post-secondary entry and completion. Today's presentation centers on the latter part of the cradle to career continuum, namely high school graduation and post-secondary enrollment with the goal of completion. We would like to ask you to pause right now. Think about when you were in high school and start thinking about college. What did you know about scholarship? What was your opinion about them? Please take a second to think about this and feel free to write it in a piece of paper. As you're thinking about your experience regarding scholarships and you're answering these two prompts that are on the screen, what did you know about scholarships and what was your opinion about them? I'd like to share my experience. So um, I, as Norma mentioned, I'm Laura Latta. Um, I went to a small high school in Oklahoma and I actually do not remember ever being told about college scholarships until the spring semester of my senior year. The high school counselor at my school worked part-time and I only remember meeting with him once for about 15 minutes um, so that I could tell him where I planned to go to college. As an educator now, I look back and I realize that fulfilling all of the roles that high school counselors must fill was probably immensely challenging for my high school counselor, which is why I don't have much time, I didn't have much time to meet and talk through the many hundreds of post-secondary paths and scholarship options for students. But it was a chemistry teacher um, who attended a nearby university and she knew about a full ride scholarship that I could apply for. She shared that opportunity with me. I applied for that scholarship and miraculously I got it. The reception of that full ride scholarship sealed the deal for me and actually helped me make the decision to attend that university without exploring any other options or possibilities. While I'm incredibly thankful for the information that the educator shared with me, it's likely that I wouldn't be where I am today without that support. And again, I'm so grateful for that. But I wonder what might have happened if I'd been guided through the process of college exploration and scholarship searching. Thank you for sharing, Dr. Laura. I personally had a different experience than Laura did. Um, I can share that with you too. I grew up in Mexico. Both of my parents are academics and they received their education and paid for it uh, through government and private scholarships. And as a young girl, 
They always encouraged me to study hard and seek scholarships to pursue my aspirations. At the age of 16, my father encouraged me to apply for a United World College scholarship to study abroad for two years. And after I graduated from that program, I applied to OU and received a full scholarship that included tuition, boarding, food, and books. And as you can see, both of these stories have a thing in common, and it was the adults in our lives that motivated us to apply. Scholarships can sometimes feel distant and unachievable for students, which is why your help and guidance is fundamental. Although we know you are, you are essential for your students' futures, we also know that you work really hard as counselors and that your time and energy are precious. We appreciate your presence and we want to provide helpful information about options that you may not have heard about before to serve students with a variety of different interests and needs. We believe that with the help of Oklahoma Promise, FAFSA, and knowledge about other scholarships can help students afford college. We will dedicate this time to talk about college and pre-collegiate scholarships. So we've divided the presentation into two parts. The first being college scholarships and then pre-collegiate programs. We're gonna provide you with some information about students who qualify for each program, what benefits students receive and where to find more information. We're also going to share some helpful resources, videos, and links that you can access after this presentation to get more information about the opportunities. There are hundreds of scholarships out there. We could host multiple sessions on the various scholarships available for students. But since we have a limited amount of time, we're going to discuss a couple of specific color scholarships scholarships that fall into two categories, those based on financial need and those scholarships based on merit. The eligibility for the Jack Kent Cook Foundation scholarships are all based on financial need, while the Coca-Cola scholarship is based on merit. So we're going to begin by showing you a promotional video about the Jack Ken Cook Foundation scholarship program, college scholarship program. And we also included a 20 minute webinar that they created to describe their scholarship program in more detail here. And you can feel free to watch that on your own time. Um, but for right now, we're only gonna play the promotional video. The Jack Kent Cook Foundation College Scholarship Program is one of the most generous and competitive scholarship programs in the nation. This undergraduate scholarship program is available to high achieving high school seniors with financial need who seek to attend and graduate from the nation's top four year colleges and universities. Each college scholar will receive up to $40,000 per year for four years of study and is then automatically eligible to apply for the Cook Graduate Scholarship. The college scholarship just means the world. Just thinking about what higher education means in America now. College is stressful enough. And thinking about how expensive it is and how inaccessible it is. Having to not deal with that has made the experience a lot better. It's really been a blessing because it's been the safety for me to pursue my academic interests without having to think about limitations. Now I could potentially be debt-free out of law school as well. It just means a lot. As part of the program, students are assigned an on-staff educational advisor. This personalized and multifaceted advising includes transitioning into college and maximizing the college scholar experience. In addition, scholars have access to summer internship stipends and funds to study abroad. Parts of a program like that allow you to really take advantage of exploration. I've always wanted to do more but I haven't had the resources available. The foundation has brought me to new environments, new challenges, things that I never thought I'd even be remotely interested in. The foundation has opened so many doors for me and made me realize my own potential to push myself and to become a better person. Suddenly I had this path before me that was actually possible where before the gate had been closed. Scholars are also welcomed into the thriving community of Cook Scholars. Scholar community is just like, 
basically another family that we have. You meet so many people with similar passions. I've made so many friendships and you meet people who have different passions but are so cool. But it doesn't matter if you talk to them once or 500 times. There's a lot of different people here that I can turn to in terms of asking questions or wanting to learn from them. To have a community of people who celebrate you in every single way, who love you, who are invested in you, and who are just so cool, it's like the best thing in the world. Please visit our website now to find out more about program eligibility and the application process. Take the first step toward building a better future for yourself today. We look forward to receiving your application soon. So as Ezekiel mentioned in the video, this can be a blessing because it can provide students with the safety to pursue their academic interests without having to think about limitations. Um, this is a competitive opportunity for low income, high performing students. Students can apply for, uh, can apply during their senior year of, of high school and they can receive up to $40,000 per year to attend any university they want. There is no prerequisite of attending a specific university for students to apply. They just need to show that they have a plan. Um, and they also provide, uh, the Jack Ken Cook Foundation provides several tips on how to create a college list in their website that you can also guide your students to. Uh, the application requirements for students are seen in standing in a path to graduation. They must plan to attend and graduate from a four year program in the fall after they graduate. They must also have a cumulative unweighted GPA of 3.5 or higher, and they must demonstrate financial need. They will consider any applicant with a total family income up to $95,000. And the deadline for 2021 closed on October 30th of last year, but once it reopens, eligible seniors can apply through the Common App for the fall of 2022 scholarship period. For, for, for more information, please feel free to check the Jack Ken Cook Foundation website listed on the slide. There's also the Jack Kent Cook Foundation Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship. And I'm gonna show you a promotional video for that particular scholarship. It's very similar to the college scholarship, but this one is focused on community college students who wish to transfer to a four-year institution. The Jack Kent Cook Foundation Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship is one of the most generous and competitive scholarship programs in the nation. It supports community college students with financial need who seek to complete their bachelor's degrees at the nation's top four-year colleges and universities. Each scholar will receive up to $40,000 per year for up to three years of study and is then automatically eligible to apply for the Cook Graduate Scholarship. I never thought I would get the Jack and Cook Scholarship. I was blown away. It, it changed everything. It's opened this realm of possibilities. And it proved to me that dreams are worth it. Students are assigned an on-staff educational advisor who guides them through their transition and helps them maximize their experience at their new school. I transferred through community college to Johns Hopkins University, which is a huge change. I was expecting the challenge and um, I was definitely like, okay, this is gonna be a lot harder. And I feel like having the foundation supporting me was something huge. Scholars are also encouraged to study abroad and pursue internships. I wanted to do research and I wanted to do all these other things. I went from arriving to feeling like I didn't belong to within one year of my starting date, I was working at the White House. And I was the first ever undocumented intern at the Clinton Foundation. And I got the opportunity to study abroad this summer. So being in London for the summer was just like, the whole world was right there. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. In addition, they are also welcomed into the thriving community of Cook Scholars. Being part of the cookie community is so awesome. We are so close, it's ridiculous. Now you have people that you can depend on. If I meet a scholar, like, you're automatically faculty. And when one of us has a problem, we all rally together. 
the resilience that's around all of us is what makes us such a strong community. Despite the obstacles in our life, we have taken those obstacles as an opportunity to make a greater impact in the community we live, in the country we live, and hopefully in the world we live in today. Please visit our website now to find out more about program eligibility and the application process. Take the first step toward building a better future for yourself today. We look forward to receiving your application soon. Obstacles into opportunity. Um, and from that recording, we can see the sense of community and belonging that many Cook Scholars enjoy together. Um, we've also included a webinar link on this slide um, to the left in case you want to learn more about the program. As you saw on the video, this is a competitive scholarship. And though some of you work exclusively with high school students, many of you may also work with concurrent students who are earning college credit during high school. And it's important that they're aware of possible transfer scholarships that they can access once they complete their associate cert certifications or two-year degrees. As we know, the earlier students start preparing for post-secondary education, the better. But we wanna acknowledge that not every student follows the exact same path, and we wanna highlight alternative roads to college graduation and funding. As mentioned in the video, students in this program can receive up to $40,000 in financial aid for two or three years. They also receive college planning support, ongoing advising, and networking opportunities with fellow scholars once they get to college. The application for 2021 did close in January, but this is a scholarship that you likely want to add to your calendar for the future years. In order to apply, students must demonstrate financial need with family income up to $95,000, be currently enrolled at an accredited U.S. community college or two-year institution with sophomore status, plan to enroll in a full-time bachelor's program at an accredited college or university, have a GPA of 3.5 or higher on a four-point scale or equivalent, and not have been previously enrolled at a four-year institution. You can also sign up for the Jack Kent Cook Foundation Counselor Newsletter if you're interested in more resources or information about deadlines um, or just info for students. You can go to apply.jkcf.org and sign up or click on the presentation hyperlink. Thank you, Lara. Now we will now talk about the Coca-Cola Scholarship. This is a merit-based scholarship awarded to high school seniors for their leadership and service. Every year, they select a total of 150 scholars to receive a $20,000 scholarship. Now, we want to show you a video from the 2020 scholar selection where they surprise students with the news that they are COVID scholars and interview them. Our college was a possibility, and if it was, it was community college, perhaps. Make sure that I have a home and I have food and water and shelter. Um, I'm working three jobs right now, one of which is at U-Haul. <laughs> I have been going to college classes as a dual enrolled student since my sophomore year. I'm actually graduating my associate's degree in May, graduating with an associate's before my high school diploma. Me and a group of friends worked together and we planned a prom for students with special needs at my school. I'm the founder of Fem Power, which is the first intersectional feminist group in my school. So I created Sight for Smiles and Smarts when I was in the seventh grade. We're in Pakistan, where my family comes from, and then also here in Iowa, uh, where we support local youth uh, through weekend backpacks that they're able to take home with supplies for their families. So I founded Global Minds. It's in 25 schools across the U.S. and Canada, and we impact 2,600 students. So in October of last year, my synagogue, the Tree of Life Synagogue, um, an attacker came in and uh, took 11 beautiful lives from us. And a lot of times you think about what happens when someone comes into a space that's so sacred and, and 
so holy to you and suddenly makes that unsafe. Um, and at Global Minds, we've been doing this work, fighting hate and intolerance for almost three years now. This, this is probably. So um, I wanted to show you this video because well, once it is very emotional and exciting for these kids, but it also shows um, they get interviewed about the reasons why they got selected and their type of leadership that they showed while applying. And I think this video really demonstrates the diversity in leadership and service that students can have. And there is not just one type of leader. So if you know students who have good grades, take leadership and are not afraid to fight for what they want, this can be a great opportunity for them. Uh, in order to apply, students must be currently enrolled in high school in the United States. They must be US citizens, nationals, permanent residents, refugees, asylees, Cuban Haitian entrants, or humanitarian parolees. They must also be on the path to receive a high school diploma during their current academic year. And they must plan to pursue a degree at an accredited US post-secondary institution. The application will reopen on August 1st, 2021 for high school seniors at that time. There are no grade requirements, but in order for them to be competitive candidates, they should be, you know, do well in school and demonstrate leadership and service in their own way. Scholarship opportunities like this one can be helpful motivators for students to engage and find the avenues that excite them in high school. So we recommend letting them know at an early age that these opportunities exist. In their website, they also include a lot of resources at the bottom of the page that we will talk about more later, but students can keep checking more opportunities about scholarships on the Coca-Cola website. And yeah, so now we're going to talk about pre-collegiate programs and scholarships. Uh, we refer to pre-collegiate programs as those that students can apply to while they're still in high school. Uh, we will talk about the Jack Ken Cook Foundation Young Scholars Program and the United World Colleges. These are both very different opportunities, but they can both help your students align their path toward post-secondary enrollment and future scholarships at an early age. I will refer to the United World Colleges as UWC. And as a UWC alumni myself, it was because of this school scholarship that I was able to receive a full ride, which included tuition, housing, food, and books at the University of Oklahoma. And I was able to graduate as a Davis Scholar. So we know that US counselors work really hard and have many school responsibilities. And these pre-collegiate opportunities, in addition to your school curriculums, can really boost your students' resumes. So first, we're going to explore the Jack Kent Cook Foundation Young Scholars Program. We've talked about the scholarships, but this is actually a Young Scholars Program that starts in seventh grade. It's an amazing opportunity for low-income students, uh, again in seventh grade, uh, helping them to succeed academically. So we've included two videos. We're not gonna play them during the session, but when we share the presentation, they are hyperlinked so that you can access and watch them on your own. We included the webinar on this slide over here and then the promotional video right here. They're very similar to the other Jack Kent Cook Foundation videos, but they show that this is a five-year program um, and in the video, you can see that this program is not only beneficial for students, but also for parents. So students are sort of shepherded through the process of planning for life beyond high school. Um, they're given guidance and also have a sense of belonging within a community. Many of the parents who reported about their students' experiences um, say things like students um, really found their niche whenever they're in this program. They um, developed leadership skills, they developed a community, um, and the program really provides students with a comprehensive academic and, oops, one second, the, sorry about that, the program provides students with comprehensive academic and college advising, as well as financial support um, for school 
and Cook sponsored summer programs. So those leadership training opportunities over the summer, um, as well as internships and other learning opportunities, which as you probably already know, can be really, really helpful in preparing students and boosting their chances and interest in post-secondary education. To be eligible for this scholarship, students must demonstrate financial need, be currently enrolled in the seventh grade and or entering eighth grade in the fall of the application year. Students must also have earned grades of all or mostly A's in school since the beginning of sixth grade with no C or below in core academic subjects and reside and plan to attend school in the United States. They'll consider students whose family income is up to 95,000, but the 2019 cohort of new young scholars had a median family income of approximately 38,000. The application period for this program is usually January to March, so you may keep an eye out for this opportunity for your students. And lastly, we will talk about the United World Colleges. Uh, this is also a pre-collegiate opportunity, but it is slightly different in that it is a two-year international program with the international baccalaureate as the curriculum. Uh, and we will show you a snippet of a video. OWC makes education a force to unite people, nations, and cultures around the globe for peace and a sustainable future. Once you come to a United World College, there are all these infinite possibilities. There's so much to do here and it's just incredible. <laughs> the things you experience is just amazing and I'm quite sure I will remember it for the rest of my life. UWC was founded in 1962 and now has 14 schools as well as volunteer-run representation in more than 150 countries. The idea behind it was to bring young people from all around the world and to challenge them academically but also challenge them physically. The simple idea of bringing young people together from different parts of the world and if you did it at 16 to 19 or even younger you're going to have a big impact. If the challenge is set high, we will surprise ourselves time and time and time again. WC deliberately selects students of diverse ethnicities, religions, and socioeconomic backgrounds, with more than 60% of those in the IB diploma years receiving some form of financial support. Thank you so much. Uh, you can continue to watch the video on your own time if you wish to. It's very exciting. Um, but I will just make a few corrections. So since this video was made, uh, we have an increase of 18 schools around the world instead of 14. And, you know, the video explains that UWC is a worldwide movement across the world. Uh, in order to apply, students must do it through their national committee. So uh, for our students, they will have to apply to the US National Committee. Every year they receive around 200 applicants and 50 get selected each year. 25 are sent abroad and 25 stay at UWC USA in Montezuma, New Mexico. Now you may be wondering, but why should I encourage my students to apply to a different school? And you know, this is a valid concern and we understand that you already work very hard to ensure that your students have their best possible future. And most of your students' success will take place at your school. However, if you do identify a curious student who often asks about different cultures and is interested in learning other languages and asks lots of questions and it's often organizing other students to combat climate change and or social justice in your school, then you may want to introduce them to this opportunity especially those who may not be able to afford to travel around the world. For those students, this can be an opportunity to satisfy this curiosity. And so much of the emphasis at UWC is to make a positive impact in your community. So when students leave to a UWC, they are encouraged to keep their hometowns in mind and to strive to give back some of the learning to the communities after they graduate. In addition to this, it will be a prestigious achievement for your school if one of your students gets in, because it means that you're giving them the quality education that they need. Uh, this is still a competitive scholarship and you know many kids apply and not everybody gets in. 
And th this is not a school that is better than yours. It's just an alternative for those students who have an international and, inter and intercultural mindset. And students can only get there with your help. In order to apply, students must be in the 10th or 11th grade and have a curiosity for international understanding and a desire to make a positive impact in the world. Grades are not a requirement, but they do tend to choose students who can demonstrate that they have the capacity to succeed in the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. Um, selected students will receive a need-based financial scholarship to attend the last two years of high school in one of those schools. And after graduation, they can be eligible to receive a $40,000 scholarship a year for a period of four years in for four years in one of the 80 Davis partners, college and universities in the United States. And they can also qualify for a UWC project for peace, which is a grant that they can receive while they're at college to create or implement a project that will benefit their community. Now that we have described different programs that can interest your students, we hope that some of you have recognized a student that you may want to share this or just have, you know, want to keep them for your records. Uh, now we will talk more about other resources available on the next slide. Thank you so much, Norma, and thank you so much for sharing your insight as an alumna of UWC. Um, so incredible to hear about your experience as well. In addition to the opportunities that we just showed you, the Jack Kent Cook Scholarships and uh, Coca-Cola Scholarship and UWC, we want to show you um, this last slide uh, with three, four websites that you can peruse and share with your students that have information about more scholarships and scholarship deadlines. You can go to and OK Career Tech as well as OK College Start all have information specifically about Oklahoma career paths and scholarships, while the Coca-Cola Foundation site has a list of resources for students all over the nation to find more funding opportunities. If you go to the bottom of the page, you can see all of their scholarship info, um, including different search engines and some different information on scholarships. So we encourage you to use any of these sites and resources to share scholarships with your students. We are so grateful to have spent this time with you um, and recognize that you may have questions or thoughts that you would like to share. But because this is a recorded session, we aren't able to answer questions live. So we wanted to share with you our email addresses um, so that you could contact us, reach out um, with any questions. We'd be happy to get back in touch with you. Um, thank you so much for your time. We hope that this has been an incredible session for you and hope that we connect, connect in some way in the future.